One for wigs, one for wigs, wigs, one for full, one for wigs, one for full, wigs, wigs, one for one for full. Here you can see how the lace arrived, and you can also see the interior of both of these units. So I want to preface this episode by saying this is a handmade wig. This is a unit that's made by hand. Each unit is going to be different. Each one will be individual. So even if you see this on me right now, the one you get will be different. By handmade, I mean customized by hand. Hi, welcome back to another episode of Wonderful Wigs Women. You see the cap starting there, but I might put some makeup around here in the parting space. I'm gonna use this for the blending of the lace along my hairline, like that. And this is an outre unit, so it should blend. The only problem I have is making sure it stays forward because it is a little bit small on me so i went in with the lace tape instead and i think it looks good there's the scalp now i'm going to use this and hold it down temporarily i'm going to do the air tabs which i've cut already So you see how it's going back without me holding it down? Today I'm showing two wonderful wigs that have been customized by the Two Blue Collection. This wonderful unit that I'm wearing right now. So watch as I show you the whole process from the arrival of it until the end. It's one of her auction units that she has pretty much every Friday online. And, you know, again, I saw this just from a picture and I bought it, so I had no chance to try it on or anything like that. But in general, I like how these units come. This one, for me, was a bit short. It's a bit small. So I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot of forehead room there. And I took a video of me sort of installing it and I constantly have to pull it forward. It's a bit too small on my head. I'm not sure why it's on the furthest adjustable clasp. It could be simply because this customized plucking, you know, it takes off some of the lace when you pluck it as much as this. I mean, it looks natural. There's no doubt about that. But if you look closely at my hair, you'll see that my own natural hair, my own hairline, is peeking out a bit in front of this. So unless I glue it down, I think it's not gonna stay in a temporary hold on my head. I mean, it should be able to be worn glueless, but because the cap is fitting so small on my head, I don't have the confidence to wear it out glueless. I just, you know, it needs some adhesive. But in terms of the cut, the color and the style, I'm not sure which unit, uh, Two Blue customized. I'm not sure which Outre unit this is, but it definitely is a nice cut. It looked uh, like a nice cut. It feels smooth. The cap itself feels smooth. I don't feel the wefts that are underneath and the curls are quite giving. Here's the left side. Here's the back. This is like 28 inches. This side. And I show you the parting space as well but I'll show you again. I put lace tape in the parting space. And you know, for many of these customized units by Two Blue, uh, the hairline is such, I mean, it's really good plucked hairline, but it's such that normally you have to use this sort of ball cap method. But I think the tape is looking fine with this and I don't have to use the ball cap method on this unit, which I appreciate. I mean, I don't like to go into the whole ball cap method thing. I hope you can see how long this unit is. It's quite a long unit, which is nice. In general, I like how this unit came out, except for the fact that it's a little small on my head and therefore it goes back when I put it on. It has to be held down somehow, except for the fact that it's small. I think uh, this is a great unit and I'm quite happy with the color, with the cut, 
with the plucking job with this curved parting space that I put the lace tape in. I think it's it's a good look and it suits me pretty well. Here's the lovely color on this unit. If you have some light colored hairs, it blends in well with the front. So this unit fits on me much better. It's not going back anywhere and the air tabs fit. This DNM color with the brush, I'm gonna put on my eyebrows. Just a little touch all along and then I'll use the brush to blend it. And this color looks really good with this unit, with this color here on the unit. Using the same makeup along the lace to camouflage the edge. And again, I haven't put anything in the parting spaces yet, but I might after I've done putting the makeup along. So one of those holes from the plucking, you see it's tearing here a little bit, the lace is tearing. So I don't really like that. And this I might have to cut off as well because it's just looking a little weird. So to be honest, I don't know what to do with this hole in the lace. It looks like if I pull on it, it's gonna, like it's just too delicate. It's This hole is just too delicate. So I will probably have to put a baby here, just like this wing thing over here. I will probably have to do something similar to cover up that hole because it's just not gonna work like that. I'm gonna have to figure out something to go over there. So eventually I just cut that hole open. See now I have this big gap here in the lace. That's not very cool. But I'm gonna cover it up with something. This is the second unit that I got. And again, you know, I'm not 100% satisfied with this one because I show you later on how the lace came. And I had to cut this part here. There's a gap now in the lace. You can't really see it on camera, but there's a big oval hair so i have to take some of this hair and cover over the lace where it's missing kind of like this so i really don't appreciate the lace having a big gap like that that came from a hole from the plucking but this unit fits well and once i glue it down i know it will look good it's nice and thick this hair the parting space as you can see is a C part and I haven't put anything in the parting spaces yet. I probably will put it. What I like about this unit is the style. I like how it's cut and it's thick. I like the color. I show you later on as well how I matched my eyebrows to this lovely color. And I will go in and cut this. I might do it in a short, but I just, this really kind of threw me off as I was doing the lace, this little gap here, because I'm not accustomed with such imperfections in two blue units, you know, but and I'll show you the back. It's nice and thick. It's a nice short cut. Great for any weather, I would say. So I will probably keep this in this exact same style. I'm not likely to style this any other way. The good thing about this style is that that little imperfection in the lace up front, this little gap that I can feel here with my finger, it is covered by the bangs, so it should be okay. You know, I'll just bring some hair forward in some baby hairs or something over that gap. But both of these units had problems with the lace and normally I don't have problems with the lace per se. This one was too short on my head. Then this one had holes in the lace so that now I have to finesse this little gap in the lace here. Normally, I don't have that sort of problem with these units, but I think, you know, if the number of units coming out is large and it's just too blue, I think doing them herself by hand, well, there's nothing the human being can do, which is 100% perfect all of the time. And even machines don't do 100% perfect all of the time. So we have to remember, with these units, they're all handmade. So each one will be different from the other. It's not coming off of a factory unit. So that's something to consider as well. But they are lovely. And if you're interested in having a pre-plucked hairline, well, you do get them. Okay, now that I got over my disappointment, I decided to take matters into my own hands. 
So I made a little baby here, here. See, that's where the hole is. And that's where I'm gonna cover it up with this angel wing, just sort of going like that. And then I altered the other angel wing, which was here, and I'm gonna move it more like there. I mean, that doesn't seem balanced somehow, but maybe I will do it. Let's see if I do that there. Maybe I'll just take a little bit more here. Let's see with that now. Yeah, I think that will probably look even, even though this is under the, this is under the hair. So no one will really see that side. And then this angel wing here, I think will be enough. Okay, let's see if we can install it like that and see what happens. Here we go again. And then I'm gonna blow dry this down. Now I've blow dried it down and I'm gonna deal with these little things now. Oof, a mess. So I think if I do it like that, it will probably be good. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cut it as yet. Just use the brush. Take it over like that. And I'm going to blow dry it down. There's still a hair that's like running away. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, which is the more important side with the hole there. Let's see how blow dry it down. Brush it. And just as if I were doing angel wings or big swoops. This is a new tick unit, by the way. It's not a new tray. So there you go, the hole is there. You can see the end of the lace and I've covered it up. Okay, let's comb through it now. The only problem with this is that a pre-plucked hairline is made so that you don't have to do this. You know, this is the problem with this hole here. It defeats the purpose of the pre-plucked hairline because you can't see the hairline because you've had to cover it up to cover up the hole. So that hole was really driving me crazy. You know, it's not that I'm a perfectionist, but if I get something, I really expect that it shows up so that I can just do the minimal effort. And to be honest, now that I've fixed the hole, so to speak, I've kind of covered up the hole with this uh, big angel wing here. You know, I was thinking it defeats the purpose to have a pre-plucked hairline if you then have to go and cover it up with these huge angel wings or whatever because of an imperfection in the lace or a hole in the lace. So I don't know. I mean, again, it doesn't really matter because the hair comes over that part of the unit anyways. And the rest of it does look good. You know, even with a temporary hole, this is pretty much looking good enough for me to go out and feel comfortable. I didn't make an angel wing here. I just sort of brushed it over the parting space. And the next time I wear this, I probably will put some lace tape so that the parting space starts to pop a bit more. But I do like how this unit looks overall. I really think it's a cute unit. It's fine. I mean, these two units were great except for the fact that the lace was somehow compromised. Too short on the first unit, and then this hole, which grew increasingly bigger before I even was able to install it on my head. But other than that, 
it looks great. I mean, I'm happy with them and I certainly will wear them. So thank you for being here for another episode of Wonderful Wigs Women. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting the bell notification so you know when I upload a new episode of Wonderful Wigs Women. Have a great week. Wonderful Wigs! Wonderful Wigs! Wigs! Wonderful! Wonderful! Wigs! Wonderful!